Hi everyone. Well, based on the government announcement last Monday that um, the lockdown easing is going to be delayed for another month, I just wanted to give you an update on our plans as a church and how they're impacted by that. Well, we're going to carry on doing watch events, or what we're going to call in-person church from now on, and they're going to involve more live elements across our sites. So you'll see um, some weeks we'll be able to do live worship, uh, we'll have live hosting, um, increasingly we'll have live preachers on those sites. So I want to encourage people to come and get involved in those. Um, the big news is that we were hoping to be able to relaunch kids work um, on a, a sort of increasing basis over the next few weeks. And we've decided because of the government's delay, but also because of the surge of cases that we're seeing um, really across the whole of Bracknell Forest, to delay that start of kids' work. We just don't want to take risks around people's health or dangers becoming a place that the virus is spreading. Um, so we will push back a decision about restarting kids' work again until the 19th of July, uh, when in theory all restrictions should be eased. Just want to encourage people, if you're um, up for it, get volunteering to be involved in our kids' work then. Uh, we're really looking for teams to be rebuilt. We would love to be able to, from the 19th of July, assuming everything um, is um, available to us to do by then, uh, to be able to launch kids work on all of our sites for all of our age groups. At the moment, we'd be struggling to do that because uh, we don't have enough team. And I'd really want to encourage you to be thinking about whether you could be part of that team to help us relaunch um, our work amongst children. So there'll be no kids work, um, certainly until that date, and we'll review that nearer the time. Um, you can bring your children uh, to the in-person church events on a Sunday. Uh, we'd love to have them there as long as they're um, able to stay within your family bubble when they're in the building. Uh, you just need to check them in online uh, when you check yourselves in. And we would love to have them there in that space. Similarly for youth, we are not going to be running any Sunday youth events, but they can come to the watch events to in-person church and be part of those gatherings as well. Just very briefly on our Bracknell site, also social justice. Um, the food bank was going to start meeting uh, with people coming into the K2 building from the end of June. That will now be pushed back until um, the 20th of July at the earliest. Um, and we're going to be reviewing all of this, but we want to prioritise loving people by taking decisions that first of all give us clarity, but protect our health and make sure we don't take risks with that. So please join me with me in praying for this next season. You know, my hope, my prayer is that, is that everyone gets vaccinated. Um, you know, we're not far away from that for the whole of the adult population in the UK being vaccinated. And we need to be thanking God for that. That is in itself a miracle. As that happens, we will be in a position to get back to a new normal. We'll be able to do our, our work with adults and youth and kids. And we really want to get to that place. But for now, we feel it's right just to delay a little bit. Um, just in order to do things safely and to prioritise health. So, yeah, any questions, uh, please get in contact with the team or with myself. Uh, we'd love to answer those. Uh, but yeah, let's just be praying for breakthrough and for all that God is going to do in this new season that is about to come to us.